Hey, it's Emily. I'm so excited to open back up my free Facebook community and bring back our monthly habit tracking challenges. Each month, there will be a new healthy habit to establish and track. And this month, as voted by our habit hackers, we'll be tracking getting in 10 thousand steps daily for the month. Will it be perfect? No. Will you see progress? Absolutely. I'll give you a habit tracker so you can see your progress and of course some habit hacking tips along the way. I'll do a giveaway at the end of the month for anyone who turns in their tracker for a free schedule audit and customized habit loops. So come join the free community and join this month's challenge at bit.ly slash habit hack your health community. It's linked in the show notes and let's keep habit hacking together. All right, let's get to the show. Hey girl, do you wish you could make your healthy habits stick, but life keeps getting in the way? Are you tired of diet culture telling you to shrink yourself when you'd rather just find true food freedom, move your body for joy and feel and look good in your favorite leggings? then you're in the right place. Think of this as Atomic Habits for Women. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, millennial mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about health and our habits. How do I know? Because I've gone from former chronic dieter to habit hacker through the power of the system that I'm now going to teach you so you can finally stop dieting and just train for life via your habits. Remember, it's not your fault your healthy habits haven't stuck. We just have to do them differently. Are you ready to habit hack your health? Then let's do this. You're listening to episode 255 of Habit Hack Your Health. Hey girl, welcome back to the show. I am so glad you're here. Hey, I'm wondering, do you have a lucky number? Mine is 22. I see it everywhere. My husband and I started dating in high school. We've been together like our whole lives (laughs) on March 22nd. We got married on May 22nd. And really interesting, both of our boys have 11s in their birth dates, which is half of 22. So I see the number 11 and 22 everywhere. Or, you know, like when you get a new car, then you see that car everywhere. My son just got his license and his very first car. And I swear we see his car everywhere. There's a reason why. And it's a concept called the red car theory. So this is a concept that deals with the phenomenon of a heightened awareness and selective attention. So it states that once something has been brought to our attention, we start noticing it more often, not because it's become more prevalent, but because we've made, we've become more attuned to noticing it. Okay. So it's the same with like my lucky number, my son getting that new car. I see those numbers. I see that car everywhere. I'm just more attuned to it. I'm noticing it more. So what does this have to do with our healthy habits? You know, When I teach a live group fitness class or a virtual class, you'll hear me say a lot, where your focus goes, your energy flows. Now, I'm usually referencing maybe focusing on a muscle group for more isolation, but I also say that about like if they're panicking on the treadmill doing these crazy all-out paces. If you're freaking out internally, your body responds and you remember that next time, right? So where all your focus goes, your energy goes. That's how you're going to feel. That's what you're going to associate it with. So I want to ask you this. Where is your focus when it comes to your health and your habits? The funny thing is, once you find a habit that is sticking, like a keystone habit, which is part of what I teach inside of my 21-day program, the Healthy Habits Accelerator, you can grab it in the show notes, You'll start to notice once this habit is sticking in your life, you'll start to notice other areas of your life that you want to incorporate your health as well. And before you know it, you're not dieting, girl. You've created a lifestyle for yourself and you're training for life. But we have to be a little bit more intentional, focused, attuned to more healthy habits. So let's dig a little deeper into this. So let's talk about increased awareness. So 
just as like buying a red car makes you more aware of other red cars, right? Adopting healthy habits can really make you aware of other healthy choices and behaviors. So when you start focusing on your own food freedom habits, movement, managing your stress, you might begin to notice more opportunities for maintaining that healthy lifestyle, such as particular foods when you go grocery shopping. You're noticing people talking about different fitness classes that you're like, oh, I might like to try that. Or you're noticing more wellness articles as well. You might be seeing this even on social media. The algorithm is noticing what you're noticing and shows you more of that. So you're just, it's just, you're more aware of it, right? Also, the more you engage in healthy habits, the more you might see others doing the same, which can reinforce your behaviors. So seeing others make healthy choices can validate your own efforts and encourage you to continue. So you're you're getting positive reinforcement, and usually that involves like being around a community of other people who are like-minded, they are supporting you, whether that be like in person, in real life or like socially, like I feel like I'm surrounded by some other amazing group fitness instructors that I I know just virtually where we're pumping each other up. I'm more aware of members that I teach in classes when they are pumping each other up, they get that positive reinforcement. They're more attuned to it and they want to keep coming back. Next, you know, we learned about, I learned about this when I was getting my behavior change specialist certification. That's behavioral momentum. Okay. So once you start incorporating healthy habits into your daily routine, you're more likely to notice and adopt other healthy habits more easily. And what this does is it creates a positive feedback loop, a habit loop. You know, like when you eat healthy and when you eat more colorful foods, you feel like you have more energy. You don't feel full or lethargic. And that just reinforces and more healthy habits and behaviors and more habit loops that just come natural to you. Like once you learn the, learn the system that I teach, it just becomes natural, right? So it's just like the red car. You're more attuned to noticing more red cars the more you see it. You're more attuned to creating habit loops because it has become a behavior change in you that is just un conscious. And lastly, it's just a mindset shift too. Adopting healthy habits can really shift your mindset and you're just more attuned into the benefits of it. You're feeling more energetic. You're feeling confident because you're lifting heavier at the gym. You're feeling all the good feels because you're spending time in your prayer and devotional each day. And it can really shift your perspective and make you more likely to seek out more information, more opportunities, coaches, other people in the community support group that can support your health goals. So if you need some help getting started with your healthy habits, you can always grab my healthy habits cheat sheet. I have over 60 healthy habit ideas and my three-step formula to create a habit loop to help you take action. You can get that at bit.ly slash healthy habits cheat sheet. It's always linked in the show notes for you as well. If you incorporate just one of these tiny little habits, it is going to just snowball. You can make it a reality though by habit hacking. So just like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, where your thoughts go, your energy flows. So where are your thoughts and energy going? If you're seeing around you and feeling a lot of negativity, unhealthy habits in your own life and people around you, my friend, maybe it's time to change it up and get health and your habits in the forefront of your mind, even subconsciously, girl. That is where it's at. If you need a simple system made for you with my atomic habit hacking system for women, go grab my course. Send me a message if you need some one-on-one help. But I want you to reframe those thoughts, reframe your energy so you can put healthy habits in the forefront of your mind so you are more aware of it and you're more likely to turn it into a lifestyle. Heck yes. I am rooting for you, girl. I will see you in the next episode. 
Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you are ready to take action in creating your own habit loops, then I want to invite you to take the three-day habit loop bootcamp email challenge. You'll learn how to create your own cue, routine, and reward from the Atomic Habits for Women philosophy that we've shared here on the show. And oh, it's also available audio only too, so you can take it on the go while your mom Ubering around town. Just go to bit.ly slash habit loop boot camp. It's linked in the show notes as well to start taking action now. And if you love the show, the biggest way you can support me and other mamas like you is to leave a quick written review so we can help more mamas stop dieting and start training for life via habit hacking. Love and appreciate you.